We've just got a brand new promo with Masters that were cover stars for NBA Live Mobile in previous seasons. You got Russell Westbrook, Joel Embiid and Allen Iverson, Giannis Antetokounmpo and LeBron James, who wasn't actually a cover star at all. So that definitely makes a lot of sense. But we have got all of these five 105 Masters. They will be the secondary Masters because there will be the 107 versions of them dropping later on in the promo. And all of the 107s will have a position platinum boost. And you can see that just through the homepage with this Giannis Antetokounmpo card giving out a platinum post offense boost to position, which is going to be pretty helpful. He's a 107 overall, and I'm guessing all the other players will also have their 107 versions as playstyle select players. How do you even get up to him and can you get him the money spent? Well, the first thing you want to do is head over into the limited time event and check out this promo. It's in total total seven days long meaning you've got that time to try and get through the set to try and get the players but it starts off with the event and each player has their own different section you can see next to each player there are two locked events on the very first day Allen Iverson's events are going to be unlocked you can see I played through the first one this is going to give you an 89 overall version of that player plus 500 photo shoot points the right hand side of that there are five extra events each one is going to give you one Allen Iverson token. And then on the second day, Russell Westbrook's event will unlock. You're getting the 89 version of him. plus an extra 500 photo shoot points. And to the right of that, you're getting five Russell Westbrook tokens, one on each of those five events. On the third day, it'll be LeBron James, fourth day Giannis, and then fifth day Joel Embiid. Across the entirety of the promo, we will get each different player event twice. So on some days, there might be two events unlocking together. On some days, it may be three events. But overall, we should get each player event unlocking twice. But once you play through those player events, you have to go above that to these blitz events. And there's this one over here, which is 20 events, 25 stamina a piece, nice low amount of stamina, which is going to give you 200 photo shoot points every single time you play through it. And to the right hand side of that, there is a random player token event. This one's going to give you exactly what it says one random player token plus an extra 100 photo shoot points, five of these a day, and they cost 35 stamina a piece. So it isn't too much on the stamina front. You got 100 stamina over there, you got 575 stamina events, 20 25 stamina events, and then 535 stamina events. Events. Now this event over here does reset every 12 hours. So make sure you're looking on at least twice a day to try and get this event done. So in total, that's 10 events every single day just by doing this over here. So all of those events, it is going to be doable to play through all of them. You want to be playing through as many as you possibly can. What you're going to do with those points is you're going to go along these milestones over here. And you can see you're going to get some 89 overall player select packs. You're also going to get some extra random tokens and you'll get some cover star trophies. Now the cover star trophies can be used in place of any player token. Say I'm trying to get Allen Iverson. These can be put in place of any Allen Iverson token. If I want to get Joel Embiid, these tokens can be used instead of any Joel Embiid tokens. That's how those work. And you can see you'll just keep going up bit by bit, getting higher and higher rewards until you get up to 55,000 points. Now you're going to get this Cleveland Cavaliers court, which is going to give you a photo shoot points boost. Now I don't know exactly how much it's going to boost you up, but once you've got this, you want to be going onto your team, sticking it on your team and using that team to play through the events. Because instead of say getting 200 photo shoot points, I'll get 200 and a little bit more from that boost that I'm getting from the court itself. So once you got up to that, make sure it's got on your team and then you can go ahead and get some more points as you go through further these milestones. You can see at 70,000, you're going to get yourself a 99 select pack. This is important to take note of simply because it means you can skip a couple of the sets. And there is another one of those all the way at 110,000. So that's also something to bear in mind. But once you've got those players on all the tokens, there are two exchange sets you want to do. There's this one over here, which is a big player points exchange. Each of the 89 versions of the players needs to be put into this set to get yourself 5,000 photo shoot points. And it can only be done once throughout the entirety of the promo. So make sure you're doing this one. It doesn't matter exactly when you do it, because ultimately it's just going to lead to you getting the same amount of points in the milestones. But the quicker you do it, it might actually help you a little bit in your head to work out what you need to do next. So make sure you're using this set to get yourself those extra photo shoot points. On the flip side, there is a smaller photo shoot points exchange. This one is only going to give you 1,500 and you just need five random 89 overall players. This one is repeatable, so you can do it lots of times throughout the promo, but it will have a cooldown of 24 hours. Then it's very similar stuff with the tokens. So each one of the specific player tokens needed once to get yourself an extra 5,000 photo shoot points. But this one, again, can only be done once and it isn't repeatable, whereas this one is repeatable and it will give you 2,500 photo shoot points and it's going to need five random tokens. Now, be careful as to 
which tokens you're actually putting into this set. So it is going to sort of be a factor as to how far you can get with the sets for some of the masters. There's also an exchange set where you exchange two tokens that you don't want for one token that you do want. And it's in the form of that trophy. As I said earlier, that can be used instead of any of the specific player token. Now you're going to use the tokens to try and upgrade your players. So it starts off at the 89 overall versions of them, five tokens to 95, 10 tokens to 99, 30 tokens to 102 and then 65 tokens to 105 and when the 107s drop it should be 100 tokens to that 107. Now obviously I said in the milestones you can get yourself a 99 overall player that's why you don't want to do this 95 to 99 overall set and 89 to 95 overall set because that is just simply going to waste your tokens in total that's wasting 15 tokens that could potentially be saved just by you getting up to that milestone and getting yourself that 99 overall version of the player to then go ahead and upgrade them to 102 then 105 and then 107. It works exactly the same for each of the different players you can see Russell Westbrook you need him plus five tokens to get him up to 95 and you just upgrade them bit by bit to 105 and then eventually 107 when we get the masters all the play styles are set so Joel Embiid is power Giannis is finesse LeBron James is power and Russell Westbrook is strategic and Allen Iverson is finesse up until that 107 which should be a play style select card because if you can see in these sets Giannis is a finesse guy but obviously you're seeing him on the home page as being power so I'm guessing he will be a play style select master then going on to the store there's an extra thing you can do to get yourself a couple more points there's all of these offers on the left hand side but the right hand side is going to offer you 10,000 coins for 100 photo shoot points. You can buy this three times a day and this is going to help you out in the milestones themselves. There's 200 NBA cash for 500 photo shoot points. Again, this can be done 10 times a day. A BOGO offer for real money. Some extra offers, including a VIP event pass, which is going to unlock when you purchase this one. For me, it's showing up as £4.49. Don't know exactly how much that's going to be in dollars, but you can see it will give you that VIP event unlock, 750 photo shoot points and 300 NBA cash. Now, there are some extra store masters. They're 100 overall, and those are going to give us a 20% photo shoot points boost. Now what this does is it's exactly the same as the Cleveland Cavaliers core in the milestones. It's going to help you out in the events. Instead of getting 200 points per event, you might get a little bit more than 200 points just through these boosts. Obviously it's the 20% points boost. So instead of 200, you're probably going to get 240 if I'm doing math right in my head, but that is going to be roughly what you're going to get if you get one of these 100 overall masters. You can get all three of them if you buy everything over here. And it is an extra City Cavaliers jersey on that far right hand side. I'm guessing that will also have a boost on it to help you out getting through those milestones a little bit quicker. So those are going to be the ways of you being able to get yourself those masters at the end of the promo. But what can you actually get normally spent? Well, it starts off with these events over here. These player ones, you're going to be able to get 500 points per event. There are five different events, one from each master, and they will unlock at least twice throughout the entirety of the promo. So two Allen Iverson events, two Russell Westbrook events, and so on. That will be 5,000 points from those alone and then at the top there is this splits event over here which is 200 points per event 20 events a day and the promo is out for seven days that's 28,000 points from those as well then to the right of that from this random player token event that's 100 points every single time you play through it there are five events and they are going to be done twice a day so that's 10 events every single day times up by seven because that's the length of the promo that's going to be 7,000 points in total so you are going to be able to get yourself 40,000 points from the events alone and in the store using that one coin pack you're going to be able to get yourself 100 points times it by three times it by seven that's 2100 points from the store then from the sets you're going to be able to do the big player and big token points exchange at least once so that's 10,000 points from both of them and then you can also do this small player points exchange seven times throughout the entirety of the promo that's 10,500 points Same can be said for this small token event but it's 2,500 times up by seven that's 17,500 points so in total from the set that's 38,000 points so overall that is going to put you at 80,100 points and that's not even including what you're going to be able to get if you do go ahead and get the boosted court because that will push you up a little bit further i reckon that might push you up to about 100,000 in these milestones so obviously now the next thing we've got to work out is exactly how many tokens you're going to be able to get well from each of these player events they are going to give you five player tokens in total so five Allen Iverson tokens on the next day will be Russell Westbrook tokens that is in total going to give you 50 tokens 10 from each player then we have to use a little bit of probability over here which would be slightly different for you guys it won't exactly be 20 percent probability of each token being pulled but we'll say you're going to be able to get yourself five tokens times that by two because it's on a 12 hour reset times that by seven that's going to put you at 70 tokens and then if we assume 20 percent chance of you being able to get every single individual player token that is going to be a total of 14 tokens from each player and then if you look at the milestones if you do end up getting up to we said maybe a hundred thousand if you get up a little bit further to 110 you will of course get this one 120,000 might be a little bit of a push no money spent 
So that will just basically give you an extra 25 of the cover stars trophies but if you do manage to get yourself up to 100,000, that is going to be 166 random tokens which is roughly 33 for each player assuming that 20 percent probability chance and also 37 of the trophies in total that's roughly going to mean you're going to get 57 of your specific chosen player that you want to get plus the 35 extra trophies which puts you up to 94 tokens for your chosen player and that's why you want to try and focus on one player no money spent so that's 94 tokens from that chosen player now obviously you're going to have to take away 25 tokens from your total amount of tokens because you need to do this small exchange set every single 24 hours plus you need to do this set over here at least once so that means you're going to be able to get yourself 93 tokens from your chosen player and 172 extra tokens now the extra tokens can be put in place into this set to get yourself an extra 86 trophies after that so in total that's going to put you at 179 chosen tokens from your specific players you take alan iverson for example and you use the trick of getting the 99 select pack in the milestones themselves and saving yourself those 15 tokens it takes 30 to get them up to 102 65 to a 105 and then 100 extra tokens to get them up to 107 so that's 190 in total so you are going to be a little bit short with the amount of tokens you need to get no money spent however you would definitely be able to get yourself at least one of these 105 masters and each one of these 105s are giving out team boost which is maybe a little bit better than a positional platinum boost so that might be a way of going you could maybe push and get yourself two of the 105s if you get lucky enough to get specific tokens you need and make sure you're going ahead and putting the tokens that you absolutely don't want into this set here and not using the tokens that you want to try and get a master out of and don't do the lower overall master sets wait until you get up to that 99 select pack so you can skip the two initial sets but if you want to go check out me scoring with a player with every single jersey number go check out the video in the bottom left hand corner i went all the way from the double o jersey number to 99 at the very end go check out that video in the bottom left hand corner and i'll see you guys in that one Peace.